We're in Birmingham, UK for Body Power. This is the last day before we leave. And um, it's been good. It's been, it's been really exciting. Uh, always learning something new when I'm traveling. Um, and yeah, so we're making the most out of this trip before I head back to Florida, the United States, uh, to lock it down for the Olympia this year. Yeah, so there was a couple that came up to the animal booth um, this weekend, and that was a great interaction I had with them. Like, I was able to talk to them. For, we, we probably talked for like 30 minutes, and uh, you know they were asking me like, you know, they're new to competing. They've never competed before. They're, they're wanting to, um, you know, start competing, and they thought about maybe starting a YouTube channel. They just wasn't really sure. You know, it was kind of like I felt very similar to them in the sense that you know they're they're now going to school. They're going to college. I used to be in college and uh, trying to figure out myself. And I asked them, I said, what are you passionate about? Like, and they said, well, we love bodybuilding. We love fitness. And I said, okay, so how, like, what do you want to do? Well, I don't really know if I want to be a competitor. I don't really know if I want to be a YouTuber. I don't know really where I, I stand, but I love bodybuilding. I love, um, you know, sculpting my physique and, and everything it is to be a bodybuilder. So I told them, I said, try it, try it, you know, go out and compete, give it your all. Uh, you, do you want to YouTube? Do you want to do videos? They said, well, we want to give advice to people. That's, we're very passionate about that. I said, then go for it. Like go for whatever you're passionate about, try it out and you'll find your way. I, I think that applies to anyone, like whether it's bodybuilding or just, you know, something else, business, whatever. Um, do what you're passionate about and you will figure out what's right for you, where your niche is. So that was, that was probably one of the best interactions I had over the weekend. Like I said, talked for probably like 30 minutes with these guys, um, you know, this, this couple, and um, it was great. So ever since I got here, everyone has been super nice. Like I, we went to Emporium Gym, which was, uh, first of all, an awesome gym. The atmosphere there is, is unmatched. But I'll tell you what was even even more than that was the hospitality that we received from everyone that, that worked at Emporium Gym. They've, they've literally went over and above for us, uh, asked for nothing in return, and have really catered to our needs ever since we got here. So a huge thank you to everyone at Emporium Gym. And if you guys are ever here in Birmingham, I highly recommend that you definitely check it out and get a good training session at Emporium Gym. Love it there. Can't wait to go back today uh, for the last day that we're here in the UK. So the workout this week with Evan went great. We actually worked out a couple different times, but we trained back the first day and uh, it was good. I haven't seen him or talked to him or trained with him since the Arnold Classic back in March. So it was good to catch up and uh, Every time when we train with each other, it's like we feed off of each other and uh, just you know push each other uh, you know harder and uh, get the most out of every workout. I chose uh, like a machine row. I pulled a little bit lower to hit the lower lats uh, to get those fired up first. And then after that, we did, we did like four or five sets. Um, some were single arm, some were both. Uh, and then we moved on to uh, some little bit of free weights. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the movement Derek chose isn't something I normally do, but it felt good, it, it was cool. Um, but then I said, hey, you know, let's do some free weight stuff. So we hit some, uh, some dumbbell rows. Not a whole lot to say about that. Just, you know, some conventional, yeah. How much weight can you move for how many reps? Right, right. You know, just kind of start tiring the body out, start using some other muscles.
always good to throw in some free weights. Like for me, I always do something isolating like the movement, like a machine or something first, moving on to free weights right after that. That way you can get the most out of your uh, lifts. And then after that, we, we did uh, back to a cable pullover, um, just to you know get a, a little bit more arc contraction in the in the back. And then followed it up uh, at the end with a super set of uh, bent over barbell rows with. Uh, deadlifts. So that really, that was packed in the and So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I finished it up real intense, real hard, and just smoked the back. When I went to Emporium Gym, first thing I noticed after walking in was all the big posters that had been blown up of these great bodybuilders. Um, and that there was the most motivating to me. I wanna be on that level with these guys who are some of the most incredible physiques of all time, the best role models and fasters of bodybuilding of all time. And that there, I, I just couldn't stop staring at every one of them thinking that I'm, you know, knowing that I'm gonna put in the work to earn my spot on the wall, I hope one day. I never want anything to be given to me. I know it's just a picture to some, but to me, it, it, it's, it means so much more. It's like, uh, it's definitely like a goal that I have is to earn my spot amongst those guys. So that for sure was the most memorable thing to me that stuck into my mind. Uh, this weekend was seeing all those incredible bodybuilders blown up on the wall at Emporium Gym. And so when I leave here this weekend, I'm only focused on earning that spot.